Hello and welcome everyone, Ducky O'Brien here and today I'll be bringing you guys a preview of a game called The Shattering. The Shattering was developed by Super Sexy Software. It was published by Deck13 and it was released on April 21st, 2020 onto Steam with the MSRP of $19.99. So when we get into it, The Shattering is basically a walking simulator. It's very similar to games like Gone Home, Eda Finch and uh, such. Basically, you're just walking through and all you can do is look and interact with a few objects and basically it goes through the story of John Evans and dealing with traumatic moments in your life and how to get over it. I think some of it is pretty well done. Other parts not so well done and we can get into that later. But it's very subjective because it depends on your life experiences and whether or not you can relate to what's happening in this person's life. All right, let's get started. I played the game already. I'm in the process of getting all the achievements. I wanna see what's available in the game. I might make a review for this game, but we'll see, we'll see. So we'll start a new game. We'll go and slot three. So here we have little breaks in between chapters of the game. Uh, it's basically the loading screen as well. We see a patient that's dealing with something. So these are the notes of the doctor treating him. Dr. W. Richards. A different dose this time. I know you're tired, John. But we need to take you deeper. We must try again. I know you think everything is all right. Then tell me. Why can't you even remember her name? All right. Let's try one more time. Are you ready? I would like you to look directly into the pendulum and follow it with your eyes. Yes, just like that. When I count down from three to zero, imagine yourself here, in this room. Try to relax. Let your memories guide you. Yes. Yes. Good. Now. Let's begin. Three. Two. One. Zero. Can you hear me, John? I'm right here. I see you're having trouble settling in. Let's take it slowly. I want you to think of something that will help you see clearly. You have the power to influence everything here. So I want you to help yourself. Drugs. <laughs> I wear glasses in real life, so I would pick glasses. First thing I do when I wake up, wear my glasses. Choice. Now, I want you to imagine yourself standing up from that chair. Good, but there's something missing. Let's make sure you're oriented. You can right click on the mouse to focus on objects. And focus on it. Did you see that, John? You imagined yourself in a room with no detail, but with a little effort, you were able to remember. The truth is buried inside of you. There's more to your life than this chair or this room. You must remember. You're doing well, John. I don't think you need those now. By the way, the mouse sensitivity is very high. Uh... John, let's continue. I want you time here. Is it's only a illusion. A moment can seem a lifetime. 
and a lifetime can seem just a moment. So here we kind of yes, John. Okay. You were at the hospital. Oh my goodness! Do you remember? Why? <laughs> Sometimes the game talks a little too much, but here we have the notes here. Trauma record. Seems like, as far as we can tell, we don't know if this is accurate or not, that he had a car accident. Problem. Mm, it says alcohol, so it's probably drinking and driving. We got some foreign bodies lodged in his head and chest. But yeah, you see the date here, January 13, 2005. Okay. Not everything is as it seems. Don't be afraid to look closer. Try. Do you remember now? Can you see the accident? So here you see in the upper left, it says there are special little surprises hidden all throughout this scene. You really have to keep your eyes peeled to see all the small touches. That's really how most art is. Don't leave my opinions about this statement. <laughs> I'll let you guys form your own, but... John. John. The accident. Always the accident. John, can you hear me? Take a deep breath. You are overwhelmed. This guy does we not to try sound like different. a psychologist, by the way. Your mind is conflicting with your memories. Let's try smaller steps. He sounds like an evil guy. You were before the accident. What did you do that day? What did you see? What did you hear? By the way, you can't skip any of this. It's a little irritating when you play the game, like uh, your second, third time, just to see everything. Okay. Good, John. Each link will help you remember. Croissant. Keep going, John. A key card, John. Which door does it open? Find a link to take you back, John. That's it, John. Remembering will open new doors. I want you to submit to the memory. Don't be afraid to go deeper without me. Go and tell me your story, John. The Shattering. <laughs> Insert title card here. Perfect moment. Act 1 Hotel. Navigating recent memories is proving difficult. The patient has found anchors from before the accident. The memories recalled have led him to the gates of the hotel. Dr. W. Richards. Oh, 
Oh yes, pro tip, if you're playing on PC and you're like, the mouse sensitivity is way too high, you can reduce the mouse sensitivity as well as the camera smoothing, and then it will be playable. As you can notice, I'm, <laughs> I put it all the way down, I'm playing at 800 DPI. Welcome, Yokozo. <laughs> the perfect place to get inspired for writing. Sounds a little bit like Alan Wake. Something about science. And notice the objects here. Something more exciting. Perhaps history. Just note the objects here as well. This isn't the time for historical research. It's alright, I'll, I'll give me some time to think of some ideas for the book. Maybe a criminal story. <coughs> Maybe some other time. <coughs> oh, he's coughing. Oh, no. One glass to get the ideas flowing. Maybe I'm wrong, dreaming of you, dreaming a lonely night through. Drama. Seem to be a little bit randomized because. Before, there was a backpack here, and you were going to talk to some kids. This one is about a detective. So, I guess something has changed. Yes, this would be perfect. Rimsabas? A story to remember. New and receipt coming. <laughs> oh no. Welcome. I want to look at this. Just a fake brochure for this hotel here. Seems pretty nice, by the way. Very cheap. Oh. 
Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, there we go. It's just taking its time. Oh, I didn't do something yet. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, I forgot to take my key. Whoops. Excuse me, I'm trying to get to my room here. Okay, well. Let me in! Let me in! <laughs> Ooh, a photo of a woman. Who could it be? I'm gonna actually dial this phone, by the way. I'm calling 911. The old timey stuff is pretty good. These people are so annoying. I hope I can focus once I get to my room. Willie is a baby outside. Finally, peace and quiet, a cigarette to calm down, and my typewriter is all I need. Okay, well. I need a quick smoke before starting. Eat that mint. <laughs> My initials, John Evans. safe what could it be I like 
that's just random nails here. It was a still midnight, and the rain wasn't showing any signs of stopping. There was tension in the air, and, and. Yeah, that doesn't sound right. Remember, drama. She gripped the edge of the balcony with all her strength, not wanting to let go. She screamed for help, and she, and she what? Yes. How about a glass of wine? Indeed. Definitely not dealing with problems right now. I'm just waiting. I, I wanted to point out something in this game. This is one of the few games that does it, but if you don't do what you're supposed to do next, there'll be someone nagging you like this over and over again. It will just repeat continuously until you do the action. So, a little minor pet peeve, but... I okay, guess that's cool. No more interruptions. Let's check the date. January 2005. It's the 10th. Just remember the 13th was the date of the accident. blood here now. What happened? Scissors? Why would I need scissors? Hmm. Peace and quiet. All right. pretty nasty <laughs> just leave me alone I feel you sometimes feel you thank you for choosing the Azor hotel we hope you're enjoying our services is there anything we can get you to help you enjoy your stay? Of course, Mr. Evans. I know exactly what you need. Yes. Leave me the hell alone. Magical cart rolling in by itself. Yes, a hammer, just what I wanted. goodness magic hammer <laughs> oh 
All right, well, I seem to be trapped here. It's now the 11th. Oh, yes, some wine. That doesn't seem like a little, but... A seven. <laughs> a number. Silence. So well, we're doing it a little bit, don't you think? So seven three. I tricked you. <laughs> I am writing the numbers down so I don't forget it later because I am getting old. I already did this and I still don't remember the numbers. Seven three zero. One last one. They always say that. Okay. Seven three zero six. What else could use four digits? Oh, the safe, of course. Seven, three, oh, six, pound sign. Did I, did I get this wrong? What? Seven, three, zero, and, oh, is that a nine? Oh, it's a nine. Welp. <laughs> Whoops, ignore that. Pretend that never happened. It's a gun. Look inside yourself. Another gun. I'm rich. Three guns. End of Act 1. Analysis. The patient's mind has begun to respond to the treatment. The desire to focus on the book provides opportunities to slip through the cracks. Still, we reach the precipice of the truth and can go no further. We must try a different approach. I like how he signs his own notes with his name.
you know, if he's writing for himself, you know. <laughs> I'm like, blah, 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 my name. Wait a minute, I wrote that. John, come back to me. Breathe and relax, John. Listen to the ticking of the clock. You're safe here. Writing the book. Isolation. Despair. It's hard to see the separation between the past and the mind. Can you answer a question for me, John? The hotel. Was that the first time you were there? Hmm. In that case, we must change our approach. I want to establish a common truth with you, John. Something to ground your memories. That means we need to go far into your past, as early as we can. Think back to when you were younger. I want you to remember when you were a child, John. Yes, John, just like that. <laughs> okay. Good, John. Get an alarm clock stuck at that time. Leave this room behind, John. From rain. Go back as far as you can. Crab is cute. That globe. Hmm. Where have we seen these items before? I wonder. I'm only gonna play a little bit more, and then we'll, we'll call it a day there. John's room. H8 through 16. What a weird thing to Imagine say. Imagine yourself in your bed, waking up in the morning. Time to get up, John. Childhood. I decided to seek the origin of the patient's mental inhibitions far back in his past. If you can establish a foundation without inhibitions, we will have something to build on. That's what you think. <laughs> A battery. I wonder what I need it for. The door is locked also from the outside. How strange. Don't go. Okay. Fine. I won't go then. John's comb. The broken tooth. Looks like a Sony Walkman. Weird. A picture of a bear. Bear. The bear is possessed by a demon. Be gone! <laughs> okay. Hmm, where have we seen this object from? Um, look at this, this is the high mouse sensitive sensitivity I've been talking about. Okay. Okay. Childhood picture. A cassette tape? Another battery. You can sit here and listen to crappy music.
January 1976. Okay, we're gonna turn it off because it does get a bit grating on your ears. You can also draw on this, by the way. Okay, I tended to draw something. Flashlight, where have we seen this before as well? Hot air balloon, okay. Spoopy. Airplane. Badge, where have we seen all of these items before? I wonder. seen these items before. Childhood memories. Treasure there. We got a hot air balloon there. Why don't we go check out the balloon? Sandcastle. Hmm. Seems to be a class picture. Or you would think. Mom's piano room. Okay, we'll see about that. Some random pictures. That's office. John, please come downstairs. Okay. Balloons, cake, mom and dad. Nail file. Morning, sleepyhead. Sit down. Breakfast is on the table. 
But what if I don't want breakfast? That's a cute cover. John, please sit down and eat your breakfast. By the way, this will keep repeating if you don't do it. It does get really grating. Choco flakes, that sounds delicious. That don't look like no humans. So he has no cereal in his spoon. I am very sad. Sweetie, mommy and daddy need to run out for a moment. We'll be right back. Your favorite show is about to start. Why don't you watch it while we're gone? Looks like old school Mickey Mouse. Hmm. So let's see if his parents returned. When you enter the building, you must leave your shoes here. Mm, what has this, what is happening here? The television is only allowed between 4 p.m. and 5 p.m. If you behave, we will allow you to listen to music every Thursday at 6 p.m. This is the storage room. No one except the staff is allowed here. Your things will be safe here. St. Oliver's Orphanage Grade John, 1. To the dining room. We have a surprise for you. Oh my goodness. Make a wish, darling. Sign into the school register so that we can start. Now go upstairs to your room and unpack your things. Well, turns out he was abandoned by his parents. And now he lives in an orphanage. He thought he had a mother and father. It's very sad, but nothing is as it seems. And all of a sudden, it makes sense. It's the boys' room, age 8 through 16, and it's locked on the outside because it's an orphanage. I don't know why, but I guess that's what they did back in the day. Andrew Fox, Bill Ford, Jack Hastings. Malcolm Diaz and then Matthew Bishop. School time. All children must be in class. Okay. Well, let's go to class then. Everyone, we have a new student. Please give him a warm welcome. See the carousel. We see the bell. Man, the come ruler. Come up here and introduce yourself to the class. Please come up to the podium and say something about yourself. Don't be silly. Come on, tell us your name. We are waiting. <laughs> 
time. Don't bother. Sit down if you have nothing to say for yourself. Savage. Children, carry on as you were. Using an abacus. Like, who would do that? What is this? Breaking things on your first day. You're going to regret that. Go to the corner. The corner of shame. Are you listening to me? I told you to sit in the corner. Story time, children. Once upon a time, there was a woman who had three sons, the oldest of which was called One-Eyed, because he had only one eye in the middle of his forehead, and the middle, Two-Eyed, because he had two eyes like other people, and the youngest, Three-Eyed, because he had three eyes, with the third in the middle of his forehead. Because two eyes did not look any different than other human children, the brothers and the mother could not stand it. They said to him, you, you and, and your, your two, two eyes are, are not, not better, better than, than us common, common people, people, and you, you do, do not, not belong, belong to us. us. They pushed him around and gave him torn clothes and no more to eat than the scraps from their table. Wherever they could, they left him with heartbreak. Australia is the sixth largest country in the world, located on the Australian continent, which is the smallest of all... Well, look who decided to show up. John, as you don't need to be here and learn with the rest of the class, do you mind showing us where Australia is? Why certainly. I know where it is. Right here. Well, I guess you can teach the class. Next time, on time. Sit down. Wait, I want to teach the class though, lady. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm going to end it here. You guys kind of get, kind of get the idea what the John, game is going to be down. like. Also, this lady is going to keep going, so that's really annoying. Uh, it's so annoying. Anyways, I'm just going to pause it here because if I don't, the teacher will keep nagging you. There's a couple sections like that. I, I don't enjoy it. I don't like it because I want to explore the room. You know, I want to see what's there. I want to see what the environment's like. I want to see. Anyways, this is the shattering. Um, it has about, uh, I can't remember how many chapters exactly, four or so. I beat it in four hours. Again, I think some parts are well done, other parts not so well done. That's based on my opinion, but I think it's a game worth checking out. If you want to see more of that, please let me know. I think the gold standard for this type of game for me personally is super liminal. Now that was a fantastic merging of thematic elements and the gameplay merging into one sweet well done package this one uh it has the story but the gameplay elements don't really merge together with it it's more like a story that's just dumped on top of you that makes sense but yeah uh i don't know uh you can wait for my review if you guys are interested, but yeah, I think I will review it because I already beat it and I have some opinions about it. Anyways, this is the shattering. I'm Opinions aside, whether I liked it or not, I'm glad that games like this are out because it does deal with some more heavy things that a person might go through. Uh, let me just say for now that this character John goes through a lot of bullying in his childhood and more problems and you know games are all about either something very happy or the hero or you're just shooting things with guns most of the time I'm not saying all games are like that but 
see very few dealing with more heavier subjects subject matters that you know person might be appealing um but yeah this game does it i think it does some parts well again some parts not so well but anyways if you're interested it's the shattering it's out now thank you so much for dropping by and watching hope you guys enjoy this and i really do appreciate it if you have any questions comments things you'll like to see please feel free to leave a comment down below and as always catch you guys next time